What if I told you Tech Deck trucks weren't that bad and you didn't need to spend 40 or $60 on pro trucks? I know that sounds backwards, but recently a lot of the homies have just been upgrading their Tech Deck trucks, so we should give it a shot. Wow! Right out of the package, these trucks are feeling really stiff. I'm not gonna say what you think I'm gonna say. <laughs> Right out of the package, these trucks are pretty rough. They're very tight. Uh, they don't come with lock nuts, which tech deck. If you're in the room with us, that's an easy fix. Stop it. These trucks are really stiff right out of the package. There's almost no give. And uh, that doesn't mean they can't be great. They might be great eventually, but we may have to make them great. Step one, we're gonna take the trucks off the tech deck. And unless you hate your little manitos, don't use this, use this. We got the trucks off the board, now it's time to yeet these nuts and replace the tuning and then see where we're at. Holy shit. Yo, it's actually not coming off. It's like glued on. Dude, it knows it's about to be replaced. Yeah, no, hell no. Matter of fact, I'm gonna disrespect my own garage. Yeet. Did I need that? Well, that was much easier. Once everything's apart, we got the hanger. We got the base plate, we got the screws, now we need some tuning and some lock nuts. Normally when it comes to bushings, I definitely have a type, and that type is slush colt rattlers. But in this case, the kingpin that comes standard on the Tech Deck base plate is pretty long, pause, and uh, the rattlers just don't work as well as they should on this type of base plate, in my opinion. So we're gonna go with some yellow, off-brand, I have no idea where they came from, bushings are just in my collection. The first step to assembling these trucks is gonna be taking one of your bushings, Putting it on the base plate. Step number two, you're definitely gonna wanna use some pivot cups. This way this isn't gonna be rubbing on your board, it's gonna give you a smooth, even turns. These black pivot cups are one size fits all. They're a universal fit. Again, you can get these at slushcolt.com. They will change the game on your tech deck setups. You're gonna take your top bushing. Go ahead and do like so. And there you go. At the moment, this is where you should be. Now you're probably thinking to yourself, where the heck am I gonna get slush colt nuts? No, that's not right. Now you're probably wondering, where the heck am I gonna get lock nuts from Slush Colt? These nuts, they're called these nuts. Not these nuts, but like, you can buy these nuts from slushcolt.com. That sounds fucked up. And you're probably wondering, where the heck am I gonna get lock nuts? You can go to slushcolt.com, order a pack of these nuts. Yes, these nuts, shout out Slush God. He sells these nuts on slushcolt.com. And uh, they're gonna keep your trucks from falling apart. Trust me, trust me, trust me. Get some lock nuts at slushcolt.com. So this is where we're at. We got one Tech Deck truck that's been upgraded. We got a pivot cup from Slush Colt. We got random bushings. We got some lock nuts. Now this truck here feels really smooth. Look at the bounce back. That's what you want. You want to kind of lightly pull on your truck and you want it to go back to center. That's a sign of good tuning. This, staying in one direction is not the business. Good, not good. So let's get this side upgraded. Now that we got the trucks mounted to the board with the new pivot cups, with the new tuning, this is how you should look and you're almost ready to sesh. And at this point, you can either put your Tech Deck wheels back on this board, sesh it up, or if you have pro wheels, you can put some pro wheels on this bad boy and take it up a notch. Let me just put these wheels on. If you want a grip video, let me know in the comments below. They do call me Chris Blends. I'm free cut, so I was wondering if I could bless little man with a cut. I'm close to Chris Blends, so I call myself Chris Blends. Give my board a fade. Honestly, these trucks actually feel really good. They got a lot of motion to them. They bounce back really nice. And honestly, all we did was put some pivot cups, change out the tuning and add some lock nuts. So if you're boarding on a budget, definitely upgrade your tech deck trucks at slushgold.com. If you like daily finger board content, be sure to share this video with a friend, like, comment, and subscribe. I also do a podcast called The Big Spin Podcast. We talk about all things fingerboarding. Definitely check it out. My name's Chris. Your name is whatever your name is. Thanks so much. Have a great rest of your day. Love ya. Absolutely. 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 Absolutely.